My homily for the 22nd Sunday, the 29th of August, 2021. The Pharisees and scribes noticed that Jesus' disciples were not following the Jewish tradition of washing themselves. And so they pointedly asked Jesus, why do your disciples not respect the tradition of the elders? This gives Jesus a great opportunity for teaching. And so he responds very forcefully, calling them hypocrites and quoting the Jewish scriptures to them. This people honours me only with lip service, while their hearts are far from me. The worship they offer me is worthless. The doctrines they teach are only human regulations. You put aside the commandments of God to cling to human traditions. Now that is strong language. We can well imagine how the scribes and Pharisees felt, upset, angry, and wanting to get back at Jesus. But Jesus could only speak plainly and truthfully. He was no respecter of position. In fact, the only people he seemed to really have a go at were the religious leaders of his time. That said, I have some sympathy with the scribes and Pharisees. For not many decades previously, the Greeks had tried to wipe the practice of the Jewish religion off the face of the earth. And many Jews had suffered greatly, and many had been killed as they tried to suppress every aspect of the Jewish faith. So these laws were not without value, but the scribes and Pharisees had fallen into the trap that we can all fall into. They kept the minor laws, which are relatively easy to keep, but neglected the more challenging laws concerning love of God and neighbour. Yes, I know we're all guilty of that, but the scribes and Pharisees also prided themselves on keeping the law and looked down on others. Humility and forgiveness certainly didn't figure in their approach. And Jesus goes on with his criticism, attacking the food laws by saying that no food can make a man unclean. It is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, malice, deceit, indecency, envy, slander, pride, folly. Now who of us would claim that we're not guilty of at least some of those sins? For me, the key is that unlike the scribes and Pharisees, we recognise that we are sinners, capable of, if not actually guilty of, every one of those sins. So we don't look to find fault and condemn. We look to forgive, so that we too may be forgiven.